Hi guys, my name is Chriselle with Psychic MD, and I am here to do another reading for you. This time we're going to be doing a collective read. So this is going to be, of course, timeless, meaning it's going to be good for whenever it is you happen upon this read. Now, for those of you that are repeat offenders, I want to thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate it. And for those of you that are brand new, or just stopping by occasionally, or just stumbled upon this by chance, I want to thank you for stopping in as well. And as per usual, I hope everybody finds exactly what it is that you are seeking. First of all, I want to tell you, for the collective right now, I'm feeling a strong pull to talk about perfection and our perception of perfection example finding dog glitter on my desk when I cleaned it 30 times before filming right so I want to say that this morning I spent a lot of time kind of arranging rearranging thinking about themes and I don't like this and I don't like that and that's too messy and um I'm picky but I felt extra, extra this morning. <laughs> and I'm going to say that I'm feeling like you might be looking at parts of you evaluating things as being like maybe too messy or not good enough or too dark or unpresentable or unsightly. Okay, and I'm just going to say that um, not everything in life is aesthetically pleasing, right? And so we all um, have parts of ourselves that we'd like to improve or we'd like to change or we'd like to bury and forget entirely, right? But I'm going to say that all of those parts are just equally as important in combination because they wouldn't, you wouldn't be who you are without all of them. So... That's a large part of your message right now. And I feel like some of you guys could be going through like a cloud of depression or a bout of depression or feeling like you're putting a lot of effort into things and you're not seeing it come through. I just want to tell you, hang in there a little bit longer. And it really is all about perspective. Um, <laughs> if you could hear breathing in the background, that's my dog. He hangs out with me while I do read. So, yeah. If you hear growling, I'm going to blame it on the dog. It's totally in my stomach because the microphone is super close. <laughs> but I just want to say um, a lot of things that we think are unsightly or silly, you know, really have no merit. If we were to have the correct perspective perspective. Now, I'm being led to share this with you. And uh, this I found, I've been finding little things to kind of amuse myself. I don't know. I just love the shape of it. And it looks like rat tat. It reminds me of a fish. It's actually a pine cone. <laughs> so um, I just want to share that with you because to me, it looks, it reminds me of like fishing and abundance and what you really think abundance looks like. And I mean, this isn't like, if I were to think of it as like a fish, it's definitely not the prettiest fish out there, right? But I think it is so stinking cute because it's unexpected. It's whimsical. It's different. And let's just do because we can. I want to get a little bit of contrast so you can actually get the full what oh, how cool okay the full the full experience of this non-fish fish thing right so yeah I was just kind of intrigued by the shape it kind of cracked me up so I'm a little bit in the catch and release phase I've been like really interested in nature and what nature has to say. So I feel like you could be looking at things um either from a different perspective or maybe you even have um taste or like a sense of fashion or a sense of like decor that's a little bit like I don't know taxidermy macabre or serial serial killer or whatever the case may be but 
look, we have a little friend here. It's a little spider. I don't know if you guys can see it. How cute. Hi, guy. Okay. So anyway, sorry, I got super distracted right there. But I'm just going to say not everything presents itself to be what we think it appears to other people. And what we think is ugly or like those parts of us that we want to remain hidden actually um, can serve as a foundation just like for this little guy. I mean, this wannabe fish thing is its whole world for now anyways. Um, yeah, maybe it's looking for a new home and maybe it's not. But <clears throat> it's just really cool to think that looking at things from a different point of view can really lift up a lot of that depression. I mean, like the more I look at this, the more I see almost like a dragon and it's like an abundance. And so I feel like whatever it is that you have, you may think it's like rat tat or I have nothing or like you're comparing yourself to things that you see on TV or your friends or whatever, you know, you don't know that they've got like all that stuff, material stuff and they put it on like 20 different credit cards and they're in way beyond upside down. And if, you know, they were to be buried tomorrow, they wouldn't have a casket to drop in. I mean, that's a little bit dramatic, but I'm just saying perception is, is really, really, um, going to help you at this point in life. And I think that if you need help with that, it's going to be good to ask some friends some friends or some family that can help you. Of course, that does not replace um, medical <clears throat> professional advice. Now, I have to say that. That's a disclaimer. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little bit of scrying here. <clears throat> so for the collective, I feel like if you actually start wearing maybe greens more on the aqua green side it might really help you a little bit to lift up that mood try to stay away from like dark colors I mean that's just kind of like you know rational now even even though I love black I mean that's my color you know many shades of black is my color so even this little thing on top of this crystal appears to me like this abundance pine cone if you will okay and I just want to tell you that Whatever you're going through right now, people may not completely understand. You may not be able to share. You may not want to. I feel like if you were to do a little bit of work, there's something like a small volcano. And there's a lot of emotion over this. And it's almost like you're afraid of yourself. You're afraid that you're going to erupt in a... Um, and there's no coming back from it. Or sometimes we're afraid that we're just going to be emotional or cry and not be able to stop crying. Um, or sometimes we just cannot, we want to hide the towers that need to come down or major things that we're suppressing. We don't want to bring forward, right? Now for one or two of you, I don't know what this means or if anything, it's going to I'm getting a reference to like jello and I'm talking about those jello molds from like the 1950s. Um, the real colorful molds of jello where they would put everything ungodly in their like, like Vienna sausages or whatever. And um, so that's going to mean something for someone. Maybe some of you guys collect like cake molds or jello molds or things like that, or maybe images that are similar. Um, I'm just going to say that you have a lot, a lot of, a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of abundance here. Okay. And I feel like on the inside, there's this little like llama creature with these paws that are not llama like. Okay. So just keep in mind that we're a mixture of like positive and negative polarities. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has like, you know, great features and then not so great features and personality traits and characteristics and um, things that we're always working on and things that we just can't overcome, but it makes us who we are again. And I feel like if you were just to really kind of relax and kind of embrace who you are in those parts of you that aren't quote perfect, or maybe even stop cam comparing them. I think that you're going to really realize that other people appreciate that so, so much about you. Okay. And so I'm being led to even um, 
my voice is totally fluctuating. I'm being even led to say, you know, dear one, you are divinely and so divinely loved. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea how important you are. And so if you're in a really, really dark place, I would say, you know, just know that you're incredibly loved. Um, you're definitely needed, even if you don't feel like that at this very moment. And of course, I'm going to always have to default to if you need therapy, please get therapy. I'm a firm believer in that. Whatever it is. Now, I'm seeing the name Cora, Coral, <clears throat> Cor, um, or maybe Ra. I'm seeing the letter L or initial L. And I feel like whatever this is, whatever this thorn on your side is that keeps like repeating or something that you want to keep remain hidden um, is actually going to really serve to really enrich you and give you depth that other people don't have, other people don't bring to the table, okay? I feel like on the inside you are just incredibly, um, I'm still using that word, <gasps> very, I want to say cuddly, very flesh, very much like... People can cozy up to you or want to be close to you. And yet there's a big line down here separating. It's almost like this building, this structure, this volcanic, whatever it is beneath the surface. It's almost like separating that from, it's like you don't allow people to really allow you, allow people to come close to cuddle you or to kind of nurture or to, you don't let people know. <clears throat> That you're really soft on the inside, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I think that you have a lot of, um, there's something about this tower, something happened in your past or something that is happening that is crumbling, falling, that you're having a hard time dealing with that you want to keep separate. It's almost like you want to live in two worlds, this world where everything is like great and everything is duh, duh, duh. and then this world where it's like I'm dealing with some shit, right? Now I see the word not right here, but on top of this tower, I'm also seeing all these birds like flying right into this uh, puffy figure, whatever this is. And I feel like it's almost like a message. that's saying, you know, allow things that are not for you to just fall away, whether, and this is hard, easy to say, easy for me to say hard for others to do, obviously, but um, a lot of things that fall away that do not become because in that falling away in this crumbling, it creates a great cloud of debris. Um, and within that, you're going to find, believe it or not, a lot of comfort, a lot of relief. It's almost like a release. You need to release something in order to be able to be whole. Once again, I feel like there is a split here. So not for many, but for maybe one of you, you might have split personality, borderline personality disorder, things like that. Um, and you might feel like you are just protecting this whole thing like a great dragon. Like, I don't want people to see how sensitive I am, but this thing in my life is just monumental. Um, now, if you look over here, let's see if I can get this on camera pretty well. I see a face here, and this is a face almost like looking towards the past. Can you see that? And by the way, if you guys can let me know what you see in the comments that I missed, I'm very, very interested. So, but I see this face looking toward the past. And this could be somebody that built a structure that maybe, or a foundation that you tried to emulate or you tried to bring into existence, okay? And that structure is no longer needed. Why? Because you are the creator of your own world. So if you want, you can actually combine these two worlds beautifully. You don't have to separate them. You know, it's funny, I just said that, but I have a real problem with um, <clears throat> embracing, I guess, my positive and negative polarities. I love everything that's black and everything that's, I guess, I guess what people would call witchy, <clears throat> pardon me, and, uh, and I don't consider myself that whatsoever, but then I definitely want to give positive reinforcement and help to the community and um, and hope and wisdom and whatever the case may be. And so all of that comes from just one person, me, myself. And so I have a hard time like allowing other people to see both sides of it because I feel like I won't be understood. Um, 
regardless, we are very dualistic creatures. Now, at one point, this little guy looked like an owl. So I feel like within you, you could be somebody who observes a lot, okay? Now, this structure right here, I'm getting... <clears throat> okay, this almost looks like the uh, old Versace uh, little emblem. Whatever the case may be, I just know, like, being an optician for, like, gazillion years in my past life... Um, they have those logos, but I don't know what it looks like now because I'm not a brands person. So maybe this is just saying that you were expected to live your life in a certain way or have certain things look a certain way um, by a person in your past. And you're still trying to kind of live up to that, present an image to people that expect that from you and a different image to other people. Now, the more I look at it, the more this turns into almost like a little angel or something like that, just kind of lying on top of the crystal. And it's almost saying, you know, it's okay. It's like, the angel's tired. <laughs> I have to say this. Way, the angel's tired of you not accepting all parts of you and just being able just to do you. Okay. So that's what I'm getting there. I feel like you tend to compartmentalize. I could never say that word. Put things in a compartment. How about that? <laughs> Quite a bit. All right, I didn't realize we're 16 minutes into it. All right, so let's see if we can get a little bit more light here. How do we do this? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, we're still trying to figure this out. Okay. If I burn, I burn, right? Okay, look, woo! So you can kind of see it. Look at that. <clears throat> I definitely feel like you're going through, like some of you guys are doing an awakening, a great awakening, a dark night of the soul right now. And this, I mean, look at the terrain here. Let's see if I can kind of point things out without causing a ruckus here. Okay. So take a look at this. I just feel like this is almost like fire or dead grass. Some buildings right here. And it, at some point, it actually kind of looks like a train as well. So I'm going to say that maybe you guys were leaving old establishments, old ways of doing things. Um, it could be something that you have done forever. But the more I look at it, the more it looks like a train. And the train is headed towards this area right here. Sorry, I'm trying not to get burned. <laughs> um, and it looks to me like it's almost like another volcanic thing. So some of you guys might be headed towards like, I don't know, exploring vol volcanoes or like Yosemite or, or looking at like natural places like that. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is saying that you are ready to go on a journey. And it's like, it could feel ominous. The path isn't exactly lit for you. You don't exactly see everything about where you're headed or where you're going. And that's better. It's a great mystery, but it even feels a little bit like sad. Okay, so I do feel still the sadness could be there with you guys um we're gonna pull some cards in just a second let's take a look at this this is almost like that very place that you're headed <clears throat> and now it looks almost like a wave so nature could be really really important to you you could really resonate with um nature going hiking i'm um, visiting just even actually, I, I feel communing with nature in whatever capacity. If you go outside and there's a tree, it's like all of a sudden you're vibing, that kind of a thing. And so I feel like it's going to be very, very different for all of you. And for a couple of you, you're taking a plane ride. <laughs> so awkward to say, Grisel. I know. Sorry. Um, but I think that you look at textures, you look at things quite differently. You want to get a higher perspective with the owl in the plane. I feel like you're trying to get a higher perspective here and just to really see 
where it is that you're headed. Now, I'm just going to say take the trip, take the journey. If this is Dark Night of the Soul, don't be so afraid because what you're leaving behind are parts of you that really even weren't you. Okay? Um, it's going to be definitely way more beneficial and helpful for you to go ahead and take that trip to trust yourself to be in the flow. I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards. Oh, damn it. That's just what we do. Sorry, guys. Did I mention I have a potty mouth? Hmm. Okay. So we're going to be looking at the Enchanted Map Oracle, which, I mean, why would we not? It fits in perfectly with what we're doing. Let's see what we can find the enchanted map. Show me what I need to see for the collective, please. Show me what I need to see. We need a compass as to where they're headed, what's going on. I'm being told to really be receptive to things that are different, unusual, and kind of off the beaten path. I feel like you're being gifted. And I heard liquid gold. So whatever that means to you guys. Show me what I need to see for the collective. Anybody who resonates with the story, what do they need to see, understand here? Show me now. Yes, transformation, metamorphosis, major transformation, okay? And again, I'm definitely not somebody who's a perfectionist, um, but I find myself fiddling and fussing and messing with things. I feel like you... You may struggle with trying to get everything like perfect, all of your ducks in order, all of, um, you want to see everything exactly before you take a leap. And I totally get that. And being cautious is absolutely, you know, wise. Now, I'm just going to say we're never going to know everything about everything. So we're having a transformation here. For a lot of you guys, you are going through Dark Night of the Soul. Um, your old world is crumbling. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is internally. Things that maybe you had banked on, things that you really had a solid belief in, or you knew for a fact things were this way. And now you're questioning. Now you are looking. Now you are seeking, <laughs> seeking and searching. And so don't be afraid, I think, just to kind of explore things, even from the ground up, things that you just took for granted. I think that also in this metamorphosis, you are not only going to find yourself, but you're going to find soul family, a soul connection, if not even a divine counterpart, okay? So those of you that are not partnered, I do feel like this metamorphosis can actually help transform you um, and transform your love life if that is something that you're seeking, okay? I apologize for my growl. Um, okay, anyways... Show me more about this metamorphosis for the collective, please. Why is this here? Anything that we can help lift that depression, help have whatever it is that they need, wisdom, guidance. Thank you. And show me now. Okay. These guys fell on their side. And as you know, you may or may not know, I always take them as they come out. So we have the Ten of Swords. We have a situation that's been extremely burdensome. You may have dealt with people that, okay, this bird, like one bird is expecting the other to feed, to feed it. Now this is a mighty chunky bird, okay? Um, and this is, <laughs> we're not fat shaming the bird, as my son would say, but I'm just going to say that perhaps it's a baby bird, but perhaps People are feeding other people lies, mean words about you, deceit, a lot of bullish, okay, about you. I feel like there are many hands, many arms, <clears throat> many pieces to the puzzle. Um, with the these eggs that are cracked open, I actually never noticed that in that card before. Um, I feel like anything new that maybe you had been working on or you thought was going to manifest could have just been cracked prematurely. Even though this is... Uh, bird is fully formed. I kind of feel like things cracked and got by the wayside. Okay. So you could have been feeling a lot of betrayal, 
Um, and all these little things right here, I almost feel like they're eyes. So um, you could feel like there's a lot of ghostly eyes on you or people looking at you or even when you're sleeping at night, trying to sleep at night, you could be feeling like you are being watched. Okay, I, I don't know your story, obviously. Everybody's going to be different. Now, I'm going to say that um, this little bird, just because of the eyes, it almost feels like their mean spirit is. So maybe... You've experienced some, yeah, look, some of this. And then I have judgment. So I feel like you are freeing yourself. You're definitely, look, metamorphosis. You are definitely growing out of that old skin where people can affect you in that way any longer. It's not going to be the same. You are not the same person. And thank goodness you're not. Now look at this. I almost feel like this is even snow. I almost feel like this is snow covering the earth. Um, and you have been kind of like buried and almost left for, in some ways, left for dead. Almost like people go, yeah, I buried him. I buried her. Um, and they prematurely celebrated. But what they don't understand is that they reveal themselves to be what they are, who they are. And you have come out of this skin of of this confinement, of this thing that no longer fit you, of this story, of this person that you no longer are, that you're willing to take those things from people. And I even see in this case, this bird screaming with alarm. It's like, hey, they escaped or she escaped, he escaped. It's almost like people try to entrap you, hem you in one way or another, or put you in a box that you did not want to be in. Now, if you recall, we're talking about that crystal and that old... Um, that old building that needed to be crumbled, okay? So I feel like this definitely has a lot to do with that building that we spoke of here, okay? Um, and you could have been, now this to me looks like a person just crying on top of an old building. So letting that go has been extremely painful um, for you. You could have been feeling left render, like I can't move, I can't breathe, I can't anything. But the new you is so incredibly shiny, it's so vibrant, and you are going places. And regardless of how many people are around to squawk, okay, to say something about it, that's too damn bad for them. It's too damn bad for them because... You're growing and you're not staying in the same place. And I love this for you. Um, I see a lot of growth around you. I see also that your chakras are really being illuminated. You might be getting downloads from spirit. I feel like a new optimism. I feel like a huge weight off of you. There is definitely a need to go around your house and cleanse if you're not the person. Type of person, believe in that. Just even try it. I mean, it's not going to hurt right? Um, go ahead and get you some sagey sage, whatever it is that you want to cleanse your home with and your own vibration. Very important that you cleanse your own energy. Glissel. Yes, I will after this reading. But um, go ahead and do that because you are moving on up, baby. So last message for the collective, please. Messages for the collective. Show me more about this. Where are these cards here? And show me now. I'm actually, I just saw in my mind's eye, almost like a runway being lit by night lights or what are those like patio lights where you embed them and then they turn on when, um, when the world turns off, <laughs> when the sun goes down, you know what I'm talking about, garden lights, whatever they're called. Anyways, so I feel like the path is being lit for you and it's being very obvious at this point. Yes. Look, Trent, we had metamorphosis. We've got the change card. Look, how incredibly beautiful is this? New season of life, darling. So we have the old is withering away and leaving and we have new life. You are going to, if you've been feeling low in energy, if you've been feeling sadness, depression, all of those things, we definitely have a new way and a, a change for you. An incredible change. Look. Logic and evaluation. So this goes back to everything I was feeling even before I started. Okay, so you could be even exploring. You could be somebody who studies intensely religion, quantum physics, astronomy, astrology, um, 
You could have an interest in like neuropathways, planetary alignments, electromagnetic fields, um, the third eye. You could have um, interest in, I forget what it's called. It, it's a thing, guys. When people read your iris, I've had it done once and actually it's pretty, pretty accurate. So you're all about learning, all about expanding. And if you're not feeling that way, I think that you're going to have excitement when your world opens up here shortly. So I just feel like a little while longer, not long at all, but just a little while longer, um, you are going to have some major, major breakthroughs. Now, I also see with these pages being ripped out of this, um, you're ripping pages out of books. You're like, you know what, that's some bullshit um, that never made sense to begin with, and that is just pure propaganda. So I feel like you're ripping pages out of books that just don't serve you, that don't align with you. Um, I also feel a healing, a healing of the mind as well. And I feel like this person's even looking at religion. So questioning my belief system, questioning religion, how does God fall into it? Or, you know, if those are things that are topics of interest at all, you might, um, start having some peace come to the forefront. And I feel like you're going to start seeing those fabric is woven and they're all like interconnected, um, a little bit in the same way that that little spider was interconnected with this weird pine cone thing, right? So, bottom of the deck. <clears throat> when you reach that, I just want you to know that you are undergoing manifestation. So be careful what it is that you set your heart on, your mind on, and stop with the perfection thing. Like, I'm still kind of like, Ugh, everything is bothering me. It's got to be like, just so. That is not my personality. <clears throat> um, but anyways, so yeah, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of downloads. And just making sure that whatever it is, I see all these like wands or these little comments, these little figures, that you really are aware of what it is that you're putting out there. So when we say, I don't want any more depression or I don't want any more negativity. Well, we're kind of speaking that into the world because we're only speaking about the bad stuff, right? And so what about just saying, I welcome all the positive things and I welcome love and I welcome light and I welcome ease and things come to me easily. And I welcome positivity and I'm open to being helped and I'm open to being cuddled or cuddly and I'm open to um, being seen for who I am and I'm open to being accepted, whatever, whatever it is, right? Really think about your terminology, your words. Um, if you are saying those things on the negative side, I would suggest you get a notepad and you write down exactly what comes to mind. Chances are those are not your words anyways. They are somebody else's voice from your past, I'm guessing. And you go ahead and flip the script on the opposite side of the page. You counteract that because words are magic. And how is that possible? That's ridiculous, you say? Well, it's spelling, isn't it? It's spelling. So go ahead and humor me and dispel yourself a new life. I think you'll thank me later. Manifestation, what you desire, is on its way. Show me what I need to see. Anything else for the collective? I know this reading has been a little bit kind of unexpected and sort of everywhere, but here we go. Look, 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 look. I feel like this reading's exactly what I needed anyways, but okay, I just want to unearth, uncover this guy for just a moment. Now see the common theme here. A neuropathways, you could have problems with your nerves or something can make you nervous. Take a look, my friends. All the nerve-like centers, uh, the atoms, of course, a lot of change. And some of you guys could be interested in CERN, by the way, or have an intrigue or an opinion on CERN. I'm not really going to talk about that right now. But I'm just going to say that there's a lot of um, serendipity in your life right now. I'm hoping that you see it as well. I didn't think I was going to read for this long, and yet here we are. Okay, so neuropathways. So 
you could be doing extensive studying to see what it is that you can do to really help affect that. Your energy levels could be um, on the rise in a really, really good way. If you've been suffering from like energetic lows for a long time, such as myself, I feel like, hello, dropping things. I feel like, don't worry about the small stuff. I'm being told, don't worry about the small stuff. Don't worry about all the clutter in your mind. It will be tended to and things will resolve itself. I'm also being told once again, I don't know if I mentioned this as clearly, but get out in nature. Just appreciate what is, okay? Oh, dang it. Hang on. Here we go with the fussing again. Yeah, so get out in nature and just explore. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm trying to zoom in on, um, yeah, not my phone. I'm like trying to zoom in. Don't judge me. Okay, anyways, yeah, so nature, notice the harmony around you. Notice how everything is in sync, how um, things just flow, things just are working for you. So not so much fear any longer. Don't be in your head so much. Things are coming together. Also, I feel I feel more like uh, sonic radar. Interesting. It's almost like you're on my radar. I'm on your radar. Um, or let me bounce this off of you. Okay. Anyways, so I'm feeling those things as well. A lot of questions, a lot of change. It might feel kind of like a lot of upheaval to you, but take a look, friends. You've got a new beginning. Have courage to open a new door. I feel like pretty soon you're going to, I mean, look look at the synchronicity. I mean, here's the snake again. Remember, we shed our skin earlier with allowing things that are no longer serving you to die, to be gone from your presence <laughs> be gone from my presence having a perspective okay um and I don't know I wasn't going to share about this but I'm gonna because why not but <clears throat> I don't know if these kind of come into play very well not so much but check out these little acorns so I just want to say, like, everything is so different. Everything has a purpose. And everything just works, like, within its time, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. It's beautiful the way it is. And the reason I show you that, <clears throat> I mean, look at this. This acorn is obviously ready to be cracked open. Um Oh, okay, here we go. I was able to crack that open and take a look. It's just like a new beginning. So I feel like whatever is cracking open for you, allow it to crack open. You might think that there are imperfections, that there might be holes, things missing. You may have dropped the ball like I dropped the net. <laughs> But never fear. I think that, uh, you know, beauty comes in many, many different, different ways. And sometimes the imperfect is absolutely perfect. Nature is absolutely perfect. So I just wanted to share that with you. New beginnings, just like the seed has a new beginning. Just allow things to be whatever wants to fall away. I think it's going to fall away regardless of how hard you fight to keep it. And the more ease that you um, kind of flow with life, the more at peace you yourself are going to be and things are going to bloom and flourish for you. Okay, so I hope that that was encouraging. Um, just know that the storm is passing. The sun is coming out by the same token. You could be doing some moon magic or being out naked in the woods. I mean, who am I to judge? I don't know your life, right? But uh, it's going to be really a beautiful ride when you get through this part. So I hope that that helped you in some way. And I'm rooting for you. I'm pulling for you. Um, make sure, again, you do limpia. You do like a spiritual cleanse, a cleansing of your home and of yourself. Even focusing on your 
um, seventh chakra, your crown chakra, your mind. So things are coming together nicely. If you like this kind of reading, smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Much love to you. Namaste.